I took that beating mm -hmm. more times than I needed to. And I took it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I can't tell because it's not in my DNA. And for anyone who does suffer from abuse, tell. I don't give a f who you tell. Just tell somebody. Because I learned at eight years old, my father, my older sister, she's nine years older. So my father was a gambler and he had this big piggy bank. And he'd come home from all the card games and he would stuff it with money. So my older sister would make me play chicky and she would turn it upside down. She'd have the flashlight and the salad. What's tongs. chicky? Chicky? Yeah. Um, like, uh, watch out. Like, I, I don't know, we called it chicky. What's chicky? Yeah, can you well, explain, can you no, explain? No, no, you're watching, no, no. you're watching out for somebody who's coming. Yeah, you, oh, let, let's that play chicky. Like, I'm you're... talking about a woman, oh, <laughs> you know exactly what right. I'm Right, I don't know sure. what the term is nowadays, but back then, <laughs> look, out. Yeah. Look, out. Look, out. look out, look out, look okay. out. So I was the lookout, right. <laughs> and she would turn the pig over, and she would pull out all the big money. So one day my father goes, come on, Renee, let's count money. I was maybe eight. I was like, okay, I'm so excited, you know, me and my dad. He would always let me count money. Put me on the table. Gets the big hammer, cracks it open, and there's tens and fives. That's and like a piñata, right? Like yeah, it was like a paper a mache, paper mache piggy bank. Yeah. And he said, uh, "Renee, where's the money?" I said, "Lana took it." Bang, right across the mouth. And he said, "Don't you ever f tell on anybody in your life?" Mm. And I said, "But you asked me." He said, "Don't you ever tell on anyone?" Mm. And I took that way too serious. Yeah, that lesson went the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. But this is the same dad wow. who popped the kid's arm out of place for giving you a black eye. Two, actually, but yes. Okay, the two black eyes or two arms? Two arms. Okay, <laughs> well, then a dude who's hey. like, you know, smashing your face against yeah. the window. I'm not around. I'll hide. I'll stay home. I won't come around. My father was in jail sometimes and he was out. My father was on the road. But regardless, I covered it up, and I covered up everything I was experiencing, which led to um, severe depression, anxiety. Um, I, ha I have insomnia. I would never sleep. I would always be by the window waiting for him to get home. And not it wasn't always bad when he came home, but it was bad. Right. Um, what were you taking? Oh, back then? Okay, so I, I always, cocaine. That was my drug of choice. Okay, that keeps you up. Kept me up, but it stopped me from thinking. Yeah. It stopped me from thinking. I didn't take a pill until I was 37 and a half. Um, and I was sexually, I was attacked by a predator at 37. And my dad was in jail. My ex-husband was in jail. Everybody was in jail. So the doc said, this will help you sleep. Hmm. So I figured, wow, if I could sleep three days out of the week, and I can't think about it. I only got to deal with four. And that's what I did. Did the predator go to jail? No, he's did in the court? mental ward. You can't, they, they don't go to jail if they're in the mental ward. You have to actually only catch them when they're in transport. Right. But there is a police report behind it. Because I did do that for myself. No, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Not that anyone believed me at home. Two years went by. My father was in jail. And my mom would say, oh, I think she lost her mind. I sent my, I mailed my father the police report. Mm -hmm. And I let him read what that man did. So was your mother, where was your mother? My mother was always around. My mother's like very, la -di -da, you know, mm -hmm. she's, she's super smart, super beautiful. I can't figure out how she lived her life, like, turning a blind eye, like, I ain't turning a blind eye. Like, there was situations, uh, infidelity, you know, uh, things that I found out, I'd go grab the girl, you know. But my mom just, she played her position, period. Um, but that made me very angry mm -hmm. because I, I wanted to be just like her, but now I don't want to be nothing like her. So I started to become this woman who was, very, very strong, very, I knew I was powerful, mm -hmm. but I have a mouth on me that's bad, mm -hmm. um, very aggressive, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna tell you about yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can't tell a man about himself because mm -hmm. he don't want to hear his truth. Right. Um, so if you're doing wrong by me, <laughs> go get fucking earplugs. 
or leave <laughs> or move or leave the relationship because I'm going to let you know because I'm not dumb by any fucking means. Right. I might be quiet because I'm collecting information, but when I get it all, I suggest you leave. How much, how much grace have you been able to give your mother since you've now become a, a, a wife, a, been a wife and are now a mother? Because you have to figure a lot of what she did, first of all, she probably saw worse than you coming up with your father. There was probably a lot of times when she was told not to look out the window and she did. No. And I, I, and I would mm -hmm. also imagine that in her mind, most of what she did was for you. Everything that she did were for her children. My father never took business home. Nothing. I've never was afraid not one day in my life when my father was around. Not one day. Mm. I had nothing to fear at all. So when he passed almost five, four years ago, <clears throat> my whole world crashed. Mm. Um, and I knew my ex-husband was going to come home eventually. And he was always threatening, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you. Letters, everything. Why? And, um, because when he cooperated, I put it this way, I would have stayed with that man, beatings, whatever he did, I would have never left. But you ratted, you're done. I'll destroy you. You'll never go anywhere in this world without that tag and your tail showing. Mm. So I did it. That's it. I did it. I was mm. on every television show, and that's what he, he's a rat. A rat is a rat is a rat, period. It's not even the whole ratting thing that irks me. It's what he did to my kid and my father. Mm. You left my son out there. You left my son out there. Off a bit to get hurt. No longer had my dad, because my dad got, you know, more time. But you left my son out there. You know, they say, you have to find forgiveness. I forgive him for what he did to me. I don't have to forgive him for what he did to my son. That's for my son, and that was for my father. So as my father's daughter and as AJ's mother, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. And that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. And I will never, ever, ever, ever change that. You know, people say, oh, you live in your past. My past is my life. Present. It's not my past. It's right. happening now. It's happening now. Like this, this asshole of a human had the audacity to contact me. Um, it was I had eleven and a half months clean. It was October of last year, and he DM'd my phone, and I read it, and I read what it said. I think it maybe took me two days, and I popped a pill because I was like, "Fuck, my dad isn't here." It's his wish to me. What I asked him to do, my father would have did. After I told my father everything before he died. Mm. I didn't know my father was going to get dementia. Mm -hmm. But my father would have handled it accordingly. Mm -hmm. So I knew I was on my own now. And um, it just sent me so backwards because every fear I had of this man, every um, sleepless night, I just started to sleep, you know, it all came back. And I uh, forfeited my sobriety, and that's on me. That's not on him. That's mm. on me. I did it. He didn't do that. I did. I will own responsibility. But there's sometimes that when you're in recovery and these triggers happen, sometimes you don't have enough um, maybe discipline or um, belief in yourself. Mm -hmm. So I knew what, what comfort was to me. And I, you know, sadly to say, it's like I was okay with, with what he was doing to me because I knew what it was. Um, it's when I started to recover and I started to realize, oh, my God, I'm pretty. Oh, my God, people like me. You know, and I started to find myself. And um, but the second he came back, I kid you not, he's the devil's son. I kid you not. Like that, it's, it's this... I know what he's capable of. Mm -hmm. I know it. He, I mean, he went to jail for four bodies. I know what you're capable of, right? right? Mm -hmm. So I know what I endured from a shattered toxic bone. 
you know, to my face to like, I know what I endured. So I know it's a possibility that mm -hmm. it could have, is a probable possibility. Okay. I couldn't handle it. This Turn smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard, making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.